Hi, I'm Matt Barnett from Alien in the Outfield and you're watching VLC TV. Um, basically we started uh, producing this comic because I worked with another creator, we were both doing other things um, and we wanted to do an all ages book, a book for younger people because we realised that while there were a number of mainstream titles that were accessible to younger readers, um, the indies were largely more mature books and you know, we love comics, we think comics can do a great deal of things and they're such a diverse medium that we want young people to be in them so that they grow up into adults who are into comics and this whole opportunity can continue for other people. Um, the most challenging thing, um, funnily enough what we thought was going to be the most challenging thing has not turned out to be. It was uh, the community, trying to engage with the community, make new friends, uh, make new contacts in the, the business and socially. That's been so easy because it's been so welcoming. I don't think I've ever worked with, with, with people who've been so encouraging and supportive and mutually supportive. Uh, the hardest thing with this book uh, was realising we were doing a book that was about baseball and neither of us knew anything about baseball. Okay. That proved to be difficult. Do you know anything about cricket? A little bit. Okay. I just had to throw that one in there. I'm from Yorkshire, so if anybody is uh, watching this from back home, yeah, of course, I love cricket. Um, it, it's actually really freeing um, because it means I can concentrate just on the visual side of things um, and the writer uh, takes a lot of the narrative decisions away from me so I can really play in that visual sandbox without having to be overly concerned about the other elements of storytelling. So as an artist, I find that um, it really stimulates me, it really pushes me to work harder um, and I, I find it a much more uh, rewarding process at the end of the day. Yeah, no, that's interesting because I've worked both ways and I used to prefer everything being very dictated. Um, now I'm getting more comfortable with having a lot more freedom about layouts and scenes. Um, they're very different disciplines and, and I like both of them. I find that I'm much quicker um, if I'm given a very dictated script, a very detailed script. I'm, I'm much quicker at producing, um, but it does lean towards laziness where if I have to think more about the script and I have to problem solve more, I think I do better work. Um, well, we were working on a little funny book uh, about David Bowie, but unfortunately because Bowie passed away at the beginning of the year, we've put that on hold. Um, so I'm developing another book with uh, a friend of mine who's a poet um, we're working on doing uh, some sort of poetry based lyrical narrative. It's quite experimental, totally different um, and it involves me having to exercise a lot more individual creativity so I'm, I'm looking forward to that with some samples from that. But first, if my writer is listening to this, uh, we have to get issue four out which is the final issue of this series. Um, the best place to get it is either Support your local con and we'll try and be there, uh, Thought Bubble, LSCC, uh, anywhere where you see Alien in the Outfield or come to our website which is www.alieninthealtfield.com.